I was devastated. Everything was black. Everything was wet and broken. I started picking up things off the floor, on the table. I was looking at my wallet. I saw my computer, my TV melted. I looked at my desk. Everything destroyed. I was looking at things I was doing the night before and it was gone. All my tools collected over 25 years, art supplies, my collections of cameras and lenses, paintings of work in progress, an entire body of past artwork. In the fire, I lost everything. It was 5.45 a.m. It was raining hard and I heard this noise about me coming from the roof of my house. I looked through the window and I saw these people in yellow. The fire department was in my backyard. Um, at one point I opened the curtains and I realized at that moment that my studio was burning. One afternoon I had this idea to create art from the remains of the studio. It was all overwhelming. I tried to cope in the aftermath of the fire. I spent time in the gallery I own in Santa Monica. Then I thought to present this to my community artist friends, many of them in Venice where I live. The next day I had people over and they start pointing out objects, asking what something has been before. Artists who came over thought about exactly what I was thinking, to make art from burnt objects. A few weeks after, artists start picking up objects from the burn studio to create new artwork. I ask everybody what I should name the project. Christine Palma suggested the name Palincest and told me the story behind it. I like the definition of this word and from that moment, we had the name for the project, Palimpsest. Palimpsest to me means taking artwork, objects, things, anything, and bringing it to new life, giving it new purpose, new meaning. Literally taking pieces from the ashes and creating new art with it that has the essence or resemblance of what it used to be. Palimpsest is a collaboration, taking something that was uh, gone and then giving a new life. Reusing of something old in, to create something new, but still having elements of the, the, uh, the past recognizable. Palimpsest is an opportunity to show how from chaos can come creation. It's a reminder not to label anything good or bad. A regrowth, a regeneration of something. I went to uh, Flavio's studio the remnants, <laughs> and uh, I found this beautiful burned, half-burned uh, portrait of Obama, uh, and I've I'm I've got four layers of plexiglass, and I've been building up. I'm still working on it, but I've been building up this uh, distorted portrait of Obama. We are going to do a series of photographs that will be mounted inside of a screen that we found uh, at the burn site. Like that, the burn site. The burn site. And the screen has some images left on it, um, tarot cards that Flavio painted. And uh, one of them is the Wheel of Fortune, and the other one is the Fool. We just like the idea of, of fire being sort of like rebirth, 
kind of rising from the ashes. We, we initially liked the idea of the phoenix. Right, the phoenix, the obvious, you know, the phoenix uh, rising out of the ashes, so... I think especially given working with the fabric, so we have, it's already kind of a flowy... I guess we could see them as sort of the imagined spirits of the brushes themselves. And or the story of each brush. The story of each brush, <laughs> the person that was contained in each brush. Uh, and even I did, I did have some uh, references. I looked at a lot of old master paintings. I looked at the Roman paintings. I love El Greco and Goya. I'm trying to incorporate jewels and things that are beautiful within the carcass of burned out whatever and um, I'm trying to create some sort of looking of like if you look past the debris you see hope. I kind of like the idea of turning a tragedy into something positive. And what was left over from, I guess, the fire was this half-burnt door. So I love doors, and I have a couple of doors in what I, I love turning doors into artwork. So it just represents new beginnings, new adventures, and I just think it coincides really well with this opportunity and this project. One of the pieces that I um, that I have from Flavio, which was one uh, plan that he used in Argentina when he graduated, and uh, it was burned, but it was still really beautiful. So I just put colors, and I'm just gonna use it in my main project. Nobody was paying any attention to this, but there was just uh, a painting in the background that was scorched. It still had a, a little bit of the, the painting remi remaining, but it had the backing board. And the name of the painting was Let's Talk. Uh, I asked Flavio and he, he recognized and it was Let's Talk. And I'm actually using the back of the backing and I'm going to be using part of the what's left of the painting on the front, plus a few surprises. I'm working on a cabinet that um, is, was burned and then I'm creating these worlds inside of each of the drawers and it's a sculptural piece that you can actually view inside of the contents of the drawers from the back of the cabinet and um, it's just kind of like restoring parts of it that were destroyed but then giving it a new sculptural feel. Paint a picture, I, I'm, <laughs> artwork that I'm working on, I'm actually painting a picture with part of a painting from a picture of Flavio's. Uh, and another part of it is a, a series of cameras that were burnt in, the, in a studio. And they melted and they've transformed into these beautiful sculptural items that now they've taken on new life. They used to represent something that was a tool that was used to make beautiful images. And now it no longer functions that way. And now it itself, through all the torment and torture of the fire, it's become something beautiful in itself. I'm concentrating on some of the most valuable things to most people, which would be credit cards, money, um, identification, and how it survived the fire and what it can be turned into. So I'm, I'm taking known items and sort of uh, collaging them. I'm working on several pieces, actually. I'm working on some pieces with fabric, some pieces with plastic that I noticed they transform in different ways. And I'm working on a happening that I think Flavio would love because it's very personal, I think, in his life. What I'm creating so far with Palimpsest, it's really um, it's still an exploration. I've gathered, I've gathered materials from Flavio's studio, things that I was attracted to. So um, I'm using lots of um, paper. So I'm going to do, I'm working on something with like mixed media, with something that resembles maybe life and death or something rising from the ashes, like a phoenix rising. It really goes to 
personal healing. That's what Flavio is doing. That's what he's in the process of doing. So being asked to participate in that, being involved in that, it's a, it's a great honor. And it's also kind of an interesting place where just by definition of the word palimpsest, you have your hand on the past and you're also moving forward. My piece basically examines Flavio as a person. What does he look like more so? What does he look like on the inside? Who is this person? How is it that he's able to do this? I've actually taken Flavio's definition as he's defined palimpsest and translated it into a variety of languages. And I have that text moving throughout my pieces. So just kind of from a language, the conversation of art, conversation between Flavio, the world, ourselves, the whole picture. All the artists start bringing pieces to my home studio. I was amazed getting all these pieces of art. Some people brought two, three, four, five pieces. I, I start pulling up all the pieces to my burn studio and start organizing the show. It was a great moment. The artwork hanging in the space where everything was black and burned, the roof and the walls, the contrast was striking. You could still smell the residues of the fire coming off the walls and floors, even when the space was full of people at the first exhibition. Hundreds of people came to this show, artists and neighbors and friends and collectors. It was shoulder to shoulder, standing room only. I decided to organize a second exhibition at my art gallery in Santa Monica a few months later with the same pieces hung salon style, this time with a gallery contest of clean white walls. Work sold at both shows 
and the artists were very happy. Coming back to the burn studio was bittersweet because I had to demolish the place where I have lost everything that meant so much to me. My memories, my art, the physical place itself. The sculptor Agus Rodin once says, the artist must create a spark before he can make a fire and before art is born. The artist must be ready to be consumed by the fire of his own creation. Thank <laughs> you. 